Hey guys, this is MJK from webstylepress.com. If this is your first time here, join this channel by hitting subscribe button and bell icon. Helper functions are small reusable utilities that can be used in any project so that you don't need to write logic for same thing again and again. We are creating helper functions to convert rem and pixels css units into one another when you use rem instead of px as css unit in your app you will use rem based values inside your css but if you don't like the idea of using 1.6 rem for 16 px if the root font size is 10 px because 1.6 rem is confusing to look at but you want to use it you can use pixel value and convert it to rem this way you will be looking at the pixel based value in your css file but for browser the output will be in rem then the browser will take care of converting it into pixel to display the output so here are our two helper functions to do that. And by the way, I also have created Rem, Pixel and EM Converter tool in JavaScript and another tutorial to show how Rem and EM work with root font size. I will link those tutorials in this video. So let's start with the helper functions. I have got this react.js based app and this is the output. Let's use breaks here. And let's write our helper functions. So for helper functions, I have got a folder named as utils. I will create an, uh, a file inside the utils named as helpers.js and for this we will create the function so our function will be like this export const um, ax to ram is equal to something so what this function will do it will take the pixels value without px convert it into RAM and returns RAM value including RAM unit functions should have commenting so that you can easily understand what this function does takes pixel value without px converts it into rem and returns ram value including ram unit okay hmm. so we will need something here we want to define our root font size 
so root font size will be uh, the font size that will be the that we should define we don't want we don't want to use it again and again so let's define it so for 10 pixel I will use 10 const root font size 10 root font size that will be used inside this function and um, 10 pixel or 62.5 percent so here will be the pixels to rem converter root font size let's lift it and this is the const and uh, this one here okay pix to rem so it will take pixel value px and then here is the formula we will take the pixels and uh, divide it by root font size and we will throw the RAM with it because this is pixel to RAM converter right so this is our function and its usage will be like this px to RAM this one px to RAM and it will take the pixel value let's say 16 pixels this will be its usage for 16 px take pixels value without px converts it into rem and returns rem value including rem unit okay so this is one function and let's create the other function and it will be the rem to pixels converter rem to pixel converter takes the rem value without rem unit converts it into pixels and returns pixel value including pixel unit okay so it will be the rem to pixel rem to px it will take the rem and uh, rem multiply by root font size and uh, unit will be pixel the output will be in pixel so it its usage will be like this rem to pixel and let's say 1.6 will convert 1.6 for 1.6 rem expected output should be 16 px and expected output for this should be 1.6 rem save so we have exported these functions 
So let's use these functions in our app.js. Let's import this import ram px to ram and ram to px. And we are using these curly braces because these functions are getting exported not as default functions from utils slash helpers save okay, here we need the spaces okay so now we have to use these functions so px to rem let's use it here so how we will use it px to ram 16 px we expect its output to be 1.6 ram okay so let's use it here px to ram save 1.6 time nice cool style text line center okay so this is the expected this year, uh, this was expected value and it is like that uh, we gave it pixels let's we give it 16 pixels and our uh, ex and our rem output is 1.6 rem and that is correct so let's see, use this now break and This one are rem to pixels. Now we have to give it rem. Let's say 1.6 rem. And it should be 16 px. Nice. Okay, so if we have got pixel to rem 32, if we have got 32 pixels and we want to use it in rem. 3.2 right so this is working this is, these are our two helper functions and uh, nice and of course you are not going to display the output like this you will use this function in your CSS when you yeah, of course when you uh, write js based css like jss or uh, or styled components in style for styled components uh, css you have to write the js based css and for the jss you uh, like if you are using material ui you can use the js based css so in that css you can use these functions now see you are using here pixel value and now you know that you are using 16 pixels here but the output in this css will be 1.6 ram now you don't have to calculate the ram and you, you don't have to write the ram here and uh, you will write the pixels here you can see that you are you are uh, it is easy to use the pixels here instead of a rem value so it will convert it for you and it will uh, give it to the browser in the rem 
format and then browser will convert it to pixel and output the CSS. So I will be creating more functions like this, more helper functions, many, many helper functions are coming. So stay tuned for that. So a little bit more update for these two functions. I have used default value for this. Uh, this parameter has got a default value as zero. And this parameter has also got a default value as zero. Uh, and also I have used two fixed. You can use three or two here. Uh, you know, the value can be a decimal value and there can be many more digits for the decimal value, but I have restricted it to three. Two is fine, three is also fine. So these two little changes for these two helper functions, default value in the parameter and the two fixed three. So that's it guys. I hope you like this video. If I missed anything or you have something to add, you can comment down below. Ask questions related to this topic. If you haven't already subscribed, subscribe to this channel and hit bell icon to receive updates. Join us on social media. Links are in the description below. Stay tuned for more updates. I will see you in the next video.